Hi all, it's Wise Angel here. Instead of doing this one as a live show, I thought I'd do it as a recording because we've already got a live tonight and I thought it would be a bit much for me as well as yourselves. So, this one was prompted because of what's been going on in other YouTube streets and those people are sort of peeing me off and I'm sure if LG, Sky, um, Mystical, Fortunes and Northy were in, the, in those areas as well having a bit of a nosy they'd be just as paid off as well so I thought right panties big girl panties on let's have a look at what these are so I thought we'll look at the different types of psychic mediumship right so there are many there are many different types of energetic healing the scrying where you can be looking into, into water or into a black mirror and see what's coming up. You can even look at your crystal ball. You can meditate with your crystals and see what you can come up with from your crystals as well. Automatic writing, remote viewing through your crystal ball or through your scrying mirror or ever through your meditation and trance mediumship you can also read auras which are the color fields your aura field Le read tea leaves and coffee grounds as well i've got another slide with some more on so we have the clairs. So we've got the clairvoyances, the clairaudiences, clairsentience, and the claircognants, claircognizant, clairempath. So the clairempath is where you can pick up things and show off empathy as well. So the clairvoyance is giving off a clairvoyant message. Clairaudience is you hear as well as see. And Claire Cognizant will go into that a little bit deeper shortly. Okay. We also have our shamans or shamans, our witch doctors, our voodoo priestesses and high priestesses, who do high priestesses etc the list goes on as you can get there's also the claire gustians astral projection projection precognizance i know you can't see that there divination which is your different tools that you use you've seen me using my pendulum my cards etc retrocognition astral projection is when you leave your body and you go off on a mini adventure. When I was doing my research, there was a few I came across that I'd never. I've got astral projection here twice. Yeah, me mediumship. It meant you've got mental mediumship, as some people see it. Mental mediumship is still clairvoyance or is it your dream interpretation is where you interpret the signs and symbols that come from your dreams you can also use dream cards that are the dream oracles so these seem like words floating around in the ether yeah you may be correct but they're all methods of connecting with the spirit world. Some people label themselves as seers, and at the end of the day, they're tapping into their innate psychic ability. 
which they don't think they are. The word seer has multiple meanings. Firstly, it's a person with insight. A seer is someone who is believed to have extraordinary moral and spiritual insight. In the Church of Jesus Christ of the Latter day Saints, heaven forbid, she crosses herself and crosses her fingers and toes. A seer is someone who sees things that relate to God through spiritual eyes rather than their natural eyes, so through their third eye. A person who predicts, a seer can also be seen as that. So a seer may be also someone who can predict events or developments. A person who practices divin divination, a seer may practice divination, especially by focusing on a glass or a crystal globe. In Greek culture, seers may have performed a variety of specialist activities. Nostradamus was classed as a seer. Um, Baba Yaga. To name but a couple. So if we look at hang on. If we look at Claire Cognizant, right? Give me a second. So Claire Cognizance is clear knowing. It is the psychic ability to have sudden insights and thoughts or knowledge about a person, a situation, or even an event without apparent reasoning. Or basically a deja vu. You can have gone somewhere where you don't where you don't know you you know find fact you haven't been there. But Claire Cognizant is also a way of honing your automatic writing skills as well. Okay. So it is can also help those who are able to do transcendental transcendental meditation. And which means you you, you allow the spirit to take over your body. A Claire Gustian, Claire Con Cognon, cognizant empath is an individual who brought, possesses both cognizance and empathetic abilities. So they know, they have clear knowing, and they work intuitively. So they know the truths and they have the emotions. So they can work on both. Claire Gustinance is the ability to taste, so you can taste any substance that just appears in your mouth. So for example, you'll get that the taste of that the spirit. So if that's the poor horrible taste in your mouth, or they'll put they could put a very strong taste in your mouth. It's called the psychic taste or the clear gustinance. You also have the Clara Leans, which is known as the psychic smell, where you can pick up 
the different smells where you don't know where it's coming from and it could be the smell of the, the person who's trying to contact you. So you've got the clairaliance as well. So I think I've covered most of them. But there is one which has been perturbing me. And that's what this lady's been calling herself. And I know it is, it doesn't exist. She calls herself a Shia. A Shia is a pair of Shia pantyhose. A Shia is a pair of Shia stockings. A Shia top. What you wear when you go out. The lady means a seer. So before you go out telling everybody you're a seer, a shea, make sure you know the correct words because seers see ministries of the angels. A true seer. See the divine. And the chemistry around the pineal gland, the pineal gland or the pineal, depending where you're from, is your third eye, your third eye chakra. And that is the seat of your soul and the mysticism that surrounds it. So that is your gateway to your spiritual consciousness and basically we need to work on opening our third eye and as the weeks go on I will be going through um, different ways, different methods of opening up with meditation with your crystals. And there's an example of people using meditation to achieve their goals. And they're saying they're using quantum vibrations for this and they're using it as a physical ability in the physical world which is roger federer used this to become a top 10 tennis player others have used meditation to keep their brains active during the day and enable them to sleep properly during the night so so he's a prophet, basically. So was that lady getting something from God? Or was she not? Maybe she was get maybe she believed she was getting something from God. Maybe she wasn't. But at the end of the day, she needs to realise she could be giving somebody some false hope. And false hope is the worst type of hope you're given somebody who's grieving their missing child their missing son daughter aunt uncle niece nephew their grand missing grandchild because you were kickstarting that grieving process all over again yes they've grieved him because he's missing or her because they're missing but they're missing out on the fundamental thing that person they have hope that that person is still alive and out there and surviving. I mean, yes, they may not be thriving, but they may be surviving out there. <coughs> Excuse me. They may, be, they may be surviving out there, but not thriving. 
So what you need to realise is when you're coming out with crap saying that he's in his parents' basement or they're in the parents' basement or whatever, you've got to think of the logistics. Is is have you checked as well? Are they in that parents' basement? The parents actually have the basement. If you're working on true crime, as a medium, as a sidekick, as a seer, don't overstep the boundaries. Be professional. And have some integrity about you. Even if that means holding back, even if that means on holding back on some things that you might have to hold back on because you're being professional and then take it, take it as, as red and please don't go spouting it off on some um, tragedy tourists channel who think you've just given them the best nugget of information that you could possibly give them you were actually giving them a nugget of information that is misinformation that is causing them to go off half cocked causing them to have legal action brought out against them while you're covering your own backside so without further ado i must remind everybody that yes while this is an educational um educational show and is covered by the 1976 copyright law and it's subsequent edition of the 107 fair use and fair dealing section readings are for education and entertainment purposes but i have not done a reading of nothing what is and everything on this channel is for over 18 only as part part of the uk laws and we are my channel is also covered by the consumer law as well the uk consumer act which is why we have to say for entertainment and allegedly purposes only. But I've given you some facts, not fiction. And I hope you have enjoyed what I've given you tonight. And please don't take what you can with a pinch of salt from some of the others. Yes, we can be accurate with our cards and our tools and mediumship readings, but remember to guard yourself as well. You have your safeguards in place, we have our safeguards in place. So look after yourselves out there. Thank you and goodbye. Oh, no.